This is John Cressman with MonkeyUncle.com and today we're going to learn how to unlock levels with tables. So the first thing you want to do is launch a new project. We're going to call this project Level Unlocker. It doesn't really matter which template you use. I'm just going to use iPad Landscape. And the first thing we want to do is save it. So now we have our same save game. The first thing we're going to do is come in here and add some scenes. We're going to name this first screen menu. That's going to be our initial menu. Our second scene is going to be levels. And our third scene is going to be play. Now that we have that, we're going to come in, create some actors. First actor, we're going to call menu button. Second actor, we're going to call level button. Third actor is going to be called fail. This last button is going to be called succeed. All right. So first let's go into menu button. We're going to set up menu button and all that's going to do is basically take us to the level menu. So let's go down here. Well, let's go ahead and just create a rule first. When it's touched, when it touches inside, we're going to change scene. and we're going to change to scene levels. So this would be as they hit play at the main menu, they would go to the level select screen. So let's just come down here, actually we passed it already, display text, and this text we're going to display is play. All right. And we're going to make this button red, and we'll leave the text white. We're going to come back to home, click on the menu, scene, we're going to drag our button, I'm going to go ahead and expand this out, we're going to drag our button up here to the top, all right, so that, when we click this button, it's going to take us to our levels. Now, I did say that we're going to set this up with tables, so let's go ahead back to home, click on tables, and create a new table. We'll call this levels. I like to name my tables in all caps, that way it's really easy to find them when we're looking through attributes. I'm going to do this with rows, and I'm just going to have five. I'm going to change this from a text to a boolean, and this is actually going to be unlocked. So level one should be unlocked because that's the one that you're going to be starting off with. If it's not, you won't have any unlocked levels. Let's go back to home. We're going to go to actors, level button. Now we're going to do a couple things. We're going to create an integer called my level and that's the level assigned to this particular actor right. and we're going to do a couple things first thing we do is change an attribute and we're going to have to create that first and it's going to be called a boolean and it's going to be called unlock and what we're going to do is we're going to set level button unlocked to, and now here we're actually going to choose a table cell value. Okay, the table is going to be game levels. Remember how it's all caps, easy to see. Row. Now this row is actually going to be the level. So my level. And there's only one column in our table. It could be more, but there is only one. So we're going to get the value of game levels 
my level row and column one. So now we have this unlocked. So now what are we going to do with it? Well, let's say if attribute level button unlocked is true, then we're going to do a change attribute. Now this is actually level button color. Now it's unlocked, so what we're going to do is we're going to put green to one. Now we're going to make it green, but to do this, that means we also have to change the other colors. So we're going to have to change color red to zero and color blue to zero. So if it's unlocked, we're going to make it green. And I just changed the wrong one here. There you go. So we turn red and blue off and turn green on. That will make it a green color. Alt. Now we're going to drag these down using our shortcut. Alt drag. And I drag two of the same here. So I'm going to pull blue down. So we have red and blue. We're just going to reverse red and green. So if this is true, we turn it green. If it's false, it becomes red. So red or green. All right, so now we want to see what level we're actually displaying. So let's come back here and do a display text. Now we're going to display level button and my level. Okay. Now this red or green, I should point out, normally what you would probably do is change the graphic from say an unlocked graphic to a locked graphic or vice versa. And But we're just going to change the color from red or green. So now we have this. The only thing we need to do is do a touch. If touch is pressed and if the touch is inside and if attribute level button unlocked is true. Okay, so if it's true, then we're going to do something and we're going to change scene. To play but before we do that we need to keep track of what level we're on so let's come back into here we're going to go into a scene and go to attributes these are game attributes I'm going to create a game attribute called integer so we're going to call this current level that way we always know what level we're on so I'm just going to come back into actors and back to level button now we're going to change scene, but before we change scene, we're also going to change an attribute. And that attribute is the one we just created. So it's game, current level, and we're going to set it to level button, my level. So if this happens to be level one, then it would change current level to level one. If we happens to be two, it would change current level to level two, and then switch to play. Now. You might actually want to change this routine a little bit if you have separate levels. Uh, this works great for you know, a single level game as far as like you know procedurally generated. But if you actually have multiple levels, like say a platformer, um, then what you would do is you would actually uh, change this. I can show you that later. So I'm going to go back to home. I'm going to go to scenes back to levels. Now we're going to drag some buttons on the screen. Now these are level buttons. Okay. And then all we're going to do is we're going to double click on them and change the first one. I don't want that. The first one to my level equals one. The second one my level equals two. The third one to my 
level equals three and four and five obviously we can go on further but we'd have to increase the number of entries in the table so let's go back now we have our five so you're going to come here you're going to see one three three, three four five and then you're going to click on one and it's going to take you to the play level so let's go back to or i should say the play scene let's go back we're going to go play scene okay and now we're going to put we're going to create a fail a succeed and a fail button so a fail simulates them failing the level so let's just say if uh, if they touch and the touch is inside they failed so we're not actually going to set anything the only thing we're going to do is change a scene okay we're going to go back to the menu we could actually go back to levels it doesn't matter but I'm just going to take us back to the menu okay. And um, we're going to change the color of this to red. And then we just need to display some text. And that text is simply going to say fail. Now we're going to go back, come to succeed. We're going to change this one to green. And we're going to say if touch. They touch the touches inside. Now we're going to do two things here. We are going to change the uh, the scene, so we can go ahead and drag that in. But before we change the scene, we're going to set an attribute. We're actually going to set a table value. Okay, so this table value, and let me just get out of here real quick. The first thing we do is choose the table, which game levels the row is game remember we set current level okay we don't want to unlock the current level if we succeeded we want to actually unlock the level ahead of us so if we were on level one we unlock level two three four etc and of course there's only one column and the value is True, meaning it's unlocked. Actually, let's just come in here and do that. True. There we go. Now, the other thing you can do, and you should do, is save the table. So we're going to save levels. Okay. And then we're going to change scene, and we're going to go back to the menu. Again, we could go back to levels. You know, if this is a a game where you know they immediately go to the next level you might want to send them to levels so now let's save it let's go to scenes play and we're just going to drag on fail and succeed and now let's preview it and just hit refresh go home there's our play button. Now we're going to hit play and we see our levels. One, two, three, four, five. Notice that one is currently unlocked, so it's the only one that's green. Two, three, four, and five are not, and if I click on them, nothing happens. Now, if I click one, it takes me to the play screen where we have fail and succeed. Okay, so I'm going to hit fail, it takes us back to the menu. I hit play. Notice that no other levels are unlocked. Now if I hit 1 and I come in here and I hit succeed, it takes me back to the menu again, but this time when I hit play, notice that level 2 is unlocked. Now if I go to level 1 and I succeed again, well, level 2 is still unlocked. So it didn't actually unlevel, unlock level 3, and only unlocked level 2. So now I'm going to hit level 2, I'm going to hit succeed, and this time when we hit play, we should see 1, 2, and 3 unlocked. And there we go. Now remember how I told you, you might want different levels for each one? Let me show you how to do that real quick. So, I'm going to say this is level two. All right, let's just create an actor in here. And we're going to call it 
Sorry, pick up the wrong thing there. This would be level two. Come in here, and all I'm going to do is display text. Change the color to black because it's going to be on a white background. And we're going to say, Welcome to level. Oops. And now we're going to do dot dot, which concatenates the information. And we're going to go, Welcome to level game current level. Okay. So all this does is it displays this little welcome message. Okay, and that's how we're going to know that we're on a different level. So let's go back to scene, level two. I'm going to drag this right to the middle. It's nice and big. There we go. Now we're going to file, save, go back home, hit preview, and I'm going to hit play. Now it restarted, so we're going to have to unlock level two. I hit level one, I come to the normal screen. I hit play, level two is unlocked. I'm going to click on it and, oh, what happened? We're at the same thing we were before. That's because what we have to do is we have to create an instance of the level actor. So this is level two, and I can double click on it, and I know it's level two because there's my level goes two. So what I have to do is unlock this, okay? So now it's its own instance, and I can come down here to change scene, and I can just change it to level two. So if you had 20 levels, you'd have to do this for each one. I recommend not doing this until you have everything working correctly with the level actors, and then you can unlock them. Otherwise, you might have to make changes to each and every one. Okay, so let's go home. We hit preview, play, succeed. I'm at level two. I'm going to click two, and welcome to level two. And there you have it. That is our level unlocker tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and please check out our other tutorials at monkeyuncle.com or you can check us out on YouTube. Just look for Monkey Uncle and Game Salad.